our word of the week today is whatever day of the week we have in our own language. So, Japanese Tuesday is Kayobi, or Friday. So this week's theme is prejudice. Japan itself is a very xenophobic culture, which means it doesn't really like outsiders. It puts a very high value on full Japanese citizens. That's why it's so difficult to get Japanese citizenship. Now for other prejudices. Japanese prejudice about China, what I find, is that they think they're less than Japanese, but they also respect them in some ways because they did get their language from China. And historically, Japan felt it was equal to China because Japan was the land of the rising sun and China was the land of the setting sun. China didn't like that very much. A big stereotype in Japan is Americans. They think everything in America is huge, including the people, which is actually pretty true. From what I've seen, Americans are a lot bigger than the Japanese. I've seen very few overweight Japanese people. Like, I mean, not obese and that kind of overweight. For the UK, Japan kind of only thinks of England. They don't really think of the rest of the country. They think it's very proper and posh and they drink tea all the time, and that kind of stuff. They don't have much of a stereotype about the Netherlands since it's such a small country. But one thing I do know is apparently the Netherlands brought tobacco over to Japan, so that's a very important thing in Japanese culture. And finally, El Salvador. Japan doesn't have that much communication with Latin America, they found. There are a lot of Brazilians in Japan and other people from Latin America, but it's just not as big of a presence here in Japan as Europe or America is. So, Japan kind of groups El Salvador in with Mexico and South America, thinking they are really less. They have big families and they're all pretty poor. Okay, time for the response questions now. I'll respond to the stereotypes of other countries that they have about Japanese people. Okay, let's start with the American perspective of Japan. People in America often think that Japanese are really into technology, they're very smart, they're small, and as well, they really like cartoons, and they only eat sushi, ramen, and rice, with the occasional whale thrown in. Okay, so Japanese people are smaller than American people. I've definitely noticed that, not just in the weight issue, but they're pretty short too, especially the older generation. So recently they've been getting taller and taller. So a group of high school boys will still be taller than me, like in America. They really do have a lot of stuff to do with technology, and some of their technology is more advanced than us in America. They actually got QR codes and smartphones to recognize QR codes over two years before America caught on to that trend. And the Japanese do really like anime, which is, which is derived from the English word animation. But one thing people also might get wrong is that animation is that anime is just for kids. It's actually not. There's a lot of really serious topics that are able to be covered in anime very well because it's just another medium. It's not its own genre. So it can spread into many different things, basically the same as any other film industry. The Dutch stereotypes of Japanese are that they're very small, which is true, and they're a little bit geniuses. Japanese parents tend to push their children very hard, which actually is a bad thing in a way too, because it leads to the highest number of suicides in this world country. The last one I got was El Salvador. They think Japanese people are smart, but talk funny, eat sushi all day, and can fix any computers, as well as no in martial arts. So, they're, they are pretty smart. They do talk a little bit strangely because they can't pronounce their R's and their L's differently. Japanese has a RA, which is kind of this weird mixture between R and L. And martial arts is pretty popular in Japan. That's all I have for now. Jonai!